What's up YouTube? Jeff Beck again. Today I have a very exciting Samsung video for you guys. And today we're going to be talking about long awaited news. Those of you who follow the channel know that I've been waiting for Samsung to re-enable the vertical app drawer on Galaxy phones. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I really hate the side to side app drawer because by the time I end up filling up my phone, I just set up this S24 Ultra recently because I have a couple that I'm using for testing but I have a bunch of pages of apps. And so it's really difficult to go side to side. It's much better to go up and down vertical scrolling, like you can get on a lot of launchers. Samsung had that, and now they're saying they're gonna bring it back. I'll give you guys the details today. Before we get started, I do wanna thank my son, Jonathan. My three-year-old son always gives us some dinosaurs and animals to hang out. We've got the T-Rex, a lion right there. They're gonna be hanging out with us. We always appreciate him. Also, I have a little bit of a cold today. So if you guys uh, bear with me a little bit, I apologize. I took a few days off from videos for that reason as well. If you haven't yet, uh, make sure you sign up for the newsletter. We are going to be announcing Galaxy Z Fold 6, Z Flip 6, Mystery Box program details later today. So if you guys are going to be ordering a foldable or a Galaxy Watch 7, make sure you sign up for the newsletter so you can get your free Mystery Box, case cleaning kit, all that good stuff included. Very excited about that. The details will be in the description in the pinned comment. Now, the feature that we're talking about here today is the vertical app drawer. The vertical app drawer is missing from this version of home up you used to have the option in the home screen options to turn on app list which will allow you to scroll through and find a vertical app drawer when you went into your app drawer like this that's now missing but we have news from my friend tarun vats over on twitter that the good lock moderator confirmed over on the samsung forums that we do have vertical scrolling coming back but it's not as soon as you would have hoped and that is one UI 6.1.1. So it says, hello customer, the good lock support team, home up vertical scrolling is in progress with the goal of being supported in one UI 6.1.1. But please understand the support schedule may change. We apologize for any convenience caused when using home up. Thank you. This was posted earlier, actually yesterday, I guess it was technically yesterday, I suppose, because this was uh, in Korea. Maybe it's still Monday. I don't know, time zones. Anyway, this was is posted very recently on the good lock forum. Uh, it looks like we're probably gonna see vertical scrolling back when the foldables come out probably in July. It's a long way away, but it does look like we're gonna get support. So I'm very, very happy for that. Even if it's a long way away, maybe we'll see it supported officially on the fold and the flip as well, because those were left out of the official support for vertical scrolling in the old implementation. So let me know what you guys think. Are you excited to have vertical scrolling back? It looks like Samsung is aware of this, which we hadn't heard anything from them for a while. So of course we were a little concerned, maybe they're just gonna scrap it all together. Doesn't look like it, so that's really good news. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about HomeUp. HomeUp is one of the modules inside of GoodLock that allows you to customize your home screen experience. So for those of you who haven't used it, uh, essentially you can do a lot of things with this. One thing you can do is change a lot of the aspects of your home screen, like you can get a larger home screen grid for your apps if you want, larger than you can get with the default. Uh, the app screen grid can also be customized to be larger than the default. Uh, the max count for favorites can be increased. You can choose to loop pages on your home screen. You can even change the background color that you have inside of your apps menu. So you can see right here, if I go into my apps menu, I can set it to completely green. Uh, some people have said in the past that it looks terrible when I use green, but I actually really like the green color. I used to use that with my lime colored S23 Ultra. And you can hide the label of your apps, which means you'll get rid of basically the name at the bottom of the apps. So you can do a lot of cool stuff with the home screen can also change some of your folder settings for pop-up folders, uh, backup and restore for your various layouts, uh, share manager, which will basically change what shows up when you get the share menu for sharing photos, media, whatever that you wanna share in other applications. Uh, you can choose to have a favorite direct share device uh, and also choose the applications that you wanna show uh, in here. Now up here, Task Manager is another one that I use a lot. And this is one that actually shows up in my videos. People often ask about, you can change your recent Task Manager to a grid so that when you go like this, instead of showing you basically just you know a little bit, it's gonna show you the full grid there. And so that's really a nice feature. Um, it's something that I really enjoy. And it's something that I think a lot of people have, have enjoyed using in, in my videos over the time when they've seen it. You can also turn the uh, app label on or off in here and also use mini mode. You can also play with some of the gestures like gesture sensitivity, etc. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please do sign up for the mystery boxes if you are gonna buy a Fold 6, Flip 6, etc. from the uh, July Galaxy Unpacked event. 
mystery boxes will be rolling out for those this summer. I'm really excited for it. Appreciate you guys watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.